What did I tell you? I knew we'd turn up again one of these days. Yeah, and with the same baggage as usual. Now, I'll tell you a secret. This open air makes me nervous. <laughs> I need a drink. Will you join me, ladies? Hey, bartender, give me a drink. Let's see the color of your money first. Ah, look at this. Now, give me a drink, or I'll buy this joint and throw you in the street. What happened, <laughs> Dr. Rich Uncle Dyer? Uh, <laughs> this is for you. And this is for you, so you won't oh. fight over me. Thank no, you. No, no, no. This is all I have left, and I need it to provide for my future. <laughs> you ready for action? That professional cheat's heading straight for us. I reckon we can take care of him. Is there an opening for someone who wants to play for a while? I was just going to drop out. You can have my chair. Oh, thank you. Don't worry, Sheriff. He's dead. My reward. You never bring him in alive, do you? What's it to you, Sheriff? When are you gonna stop being a bounty killer, Slade? When, Slade? When sheriffs like you get off your tails and do your jobs. Luck is fickle, as women generally are. You're a professional poker player, aren't you? You quit when you're ahead. The good player quits when he's losing, not winning. But if he cleans out the other players, he'd better retire. Good day. Hold on. With these cards, there's no chance in the game. They're marked. You're right. He ain't leaving this room with my money. You're not taking one cent of it. I'm warning you. Wouldn't you say you're being just a little bit hot-headed? Better cool off. Hey, Sheriff. Leslie was just shot dead. What caused the shooting? I saw it all. They were playing cars and they were nicked up. Who did it? That character, Doc, the one they call Magic Hands. Here, tell he was a good surgeon once, but now he's just an old drunk. My bank will offer ten thousand dollars for the capture of this cold-blooded murderer. We can't permit any more of these crimes to occur in this town. Do you know who he is, Slade? No. But that doesn't matter. Tell me what he looks like. Whom he belongs, got the 
people's trust when he brought back to life the son of the woman he loved. A man like him, the man with the golden gun. When he reached the town, he was. I want food and a bed. Can you put me up for the night? Sure can, mister. Tell the dad see that the bed's made up. If you don't mind, can I have your name? Larry Kitchener. Well, what's the matter? Have you any objections? Well, I'll be mighty glad to serve you, sir. Please ask Trinidad for anything you'd like. Just call me when dinner's ready. Follow me, senor. I will take you to your room. Hear that? He's Larry Kitchener. You mean the man with the golden gun? They're waiting him at Baldosas. I never expected to see him in my hotel. I tell you to mind how you play. Don't be too rough or the game ends too soon. Show that hombre how to play. My way. <laughs> yeah, treat him like the tender little pig. <laughs> Epifanio, Anastasio. I'm at your orders, General. This is your reward because I'm proud of you, muchachos. And no one can say I'm not grateful to the two men who killed Larry Kitchener. That's just where he belongs, with his father, the Diablo. <gasps> Let go of me! Don't touch me! Oh, Let go shame of me. on you, muchachos! Is that a way to treat a lady? Don't let her bite you, but to respect her! You filthy pig! If you think you're going to frighten me off my own ranch, I tell you you're wrong! But, senora, why would you believe I'm as bad as all that? Reyes wouldn't threaten to lay a hand on a defenseless woman! Hey, you get away from my mother, you dirty varmint! Oh, oh, you oh, leave oh, her oh, alone! Oh, oh, Juan, don't stand there and let me be kicked by this bronco! Don't touch Quiet. me away from no. me! Dirty bully! Dirty charge! <laughs> Tell that man of yours to let go of my son. Certainly, my senora. I mean, of course, once I know I can count on your cooperation. Don't touch me. Hey, huh? Hey, What's the matter? Uh, I just saw Larry Kitchener. This ghost, you mean? No, he's still here in flesh and blood. Where did you see him? Uh, he's staying at Austin's hotel. Go back there. It can't be true, General. He was stunned there, I tell you. You filthy traitors. I ought to have you hanged. 
But anger is too good. Now this time I will show you what I do to those who betray Reyes. Doroteo, Jorgencio, pronto, muchachos! This one first. I killed, I killed him, I swear it. I saw him dead with my own eyes. Take, take care of him. Betray you, General. Believe me. Not an old amigo. See, si, that's true. We're both amigos. I never tried to trick you. I swear I didn't. You ought to know that I was there with you when you killed your first man. I forgot. And when you were wounded up in the mountains, who was the amigo who took care of you? It was you. Then how can you repay me like this by killing me? No, certainly not. And no one can say that General Reyes doesn't show his thanks to his loyal amigos. Don't want to see your face again. <laughs> Gracias, General. Remove it. God bless you. Vamos. How sad. He thought he could betray Reyes. I'm sorry, Senora. I can't stay any longer to keep you company. I have a little business to tend to in town. Let her go. On your horses. Vamos! No, sir. The man you described ain't been here. And anyway, we don't cater to tramps in this hotel. I noticed another horse hitched outside. Whose is it? Why, that's Larry Kitchener's. It's the first time he's ever been in these parts. Do you know him? Kitchener. Hmm. I wonder what brings him here. Yeah. I know him, but only by reputation. No, thank you. I don't drink. Just bring me something to eat. Is that man Kitchener? Yep, that's him. Buenas tardes, senor. in person, with his golden gun. What luck and what an unexpected honor. Oh, who are you? General Pablo Reyes. Does my name mean anything to you? I never heard the name. Yes, you heard it. <laughs> you just heard it from me. Now I tell you what it means. To hold up law and order, I'm what you would call a collector of community taxes. And anyone who passes through this territory pays a call to me, to General Reyes. If you object because he stole his eye, my answer is sore expenses. The eye cost the law and order. You haven't paid a cent. You haven't given me time. Ha! Well, as of this moment, you're allowed to pay. Have you got a hundred dollars for me? Muchas gracias, amigo. Gracias, amigo. This amount covers the expense of law and order. But a pistol needs a license, and you can always buy it cheap if you like. For amigos, it's another hundred to pay. Someday I'll return the favor. You saved my life. I understand you're Larry Kitchener. I'm glad that I could be of help. Come back soon. I hope you'll stay with us, Senor Kitchener. Why, of course. I'll drop by again. <laughs> Adios. Where are you heading for? <laughs> <laughs> 
in the direction of Baldosa's. We're heading the same way. Do you mind if I ride along? Not at all. I'd like to have company. Hmm. Thanks. This land's pretty barren. Uh huh. Sure is. Yeah, must be difficult to follow a man's trail in such territory. Uh huh. Uh, you spend much time finding it. Two days. I suppose catching one makes you very happy, doesn't it? Well, not this time. He was murdered. What'd you say his name was? Doc. Magic Hands. Hmm. That's a funny name. They say he was once a practicing surgeon. A good one. A good surgeon? A professional swindler at cards. Yeah, he was both. May I ask why he was called Magic Hands? Because at both, he was a sharp operator. His hands were his fortune. And you have a mighty peculiar way of making money yourself. Is it profitable being a bounty hunter? There's profit enough, but even more satisfaction. Looks like this town's been completely deserted. It's not so deserted after all. Welcome to Baldosis, Mr. Kishner. That's Mr. Kishner on your right. Oh, I beg your pardon. In these parts, we know you only by your reputation. You received our letter then. What did I take? Your letter? Oh, yes, of course. I'm mighty glad you could make it here, sir. I'm the judge of this community. I swear that face looks familiar. By virtue of my authority as judge of the district court, I appoint Larry Kitchener. Sheriff of Baldosas. Well, congratulations, sir. Thank you. All right, silence. Just a moment, please. My friends, give your mayor a word now. Fellow citizens of Baldosas, I've no doubt that many of you will hardly believe what I'm about to say, but I'm telling the truth. Larry Kitchener, known to all as the man with the golden gun, is our sheriff. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I might ask this famous man why he's come to us. But no, I won't. And I won't for one reason. I know he's too modest to reply. Ostensibly, he has come to us for the monthly salary of $100. But in reality, Larry Kitchener is here because he intends to protect you, each and every one. Protect you from violence and rid you of outlaws. <laughs> you correct me if I do you an injustice. <laughs> you hear? We have with us the man who rid Colorado City of the Flaherty brothers. We have the man who jailed such men as Andy Kerrigan, the bank robber, the Preston, and Big Willie Baxter. You're not mom enough and our sheriff is Mr. Kitchener. We won't be bothered by that bandit Reyes. Don't be so sure. And one more is soon to be struck from the list of outlaws who roam at will the fine man's rule of law and order by this hero in the service of justice. He will go to the furthermost limits to rid us of the worst, the bandit who plagued us all, Pablo Reyes. So you're the one who's going to rid us of Pablo Reyes. I'm talking to you, Larry Kitchener. Sorry, Mr. Kitchener, I apologize. That's no more Connor. No, ma. I have every intention of that. Why did you ask me? And have you thought how to get rid of Reyes? At first sight, will you run like our late sheriff? Or maybe sell out for gold to him? You're imagining things, Norma. Since the bandits attacked her ranch, she's been half crazy. Why not tell the truth? I'm as sane as you are. But I don't scare very easy, you see. I'm not a bit scared. I learned to defend myself because I can't rely on any of these cowards. Look at these brave men, Mr. Kitchener. Today they come a-running to line up in front of you. After they shake hands, they'll talk big. Wait and see how many are behind you on the day you try to rid us of Pablo Reyes. 
I ought to know. On that day, not a one, not a one lifted a finger to help my husband. And if you don't want to be killed like he was, you'll take to your heels and make off real fast and leave us to him, to Pablo Reyes. Never mind what she says, Mr. Kitchener. She doesn't blame you for anything. Oh, but I'd like to know who she does. Well, Sheriff, I think some refreshment is waiting for us in the saloon. If you care to step across the street, all citizens are invited. Why are you here? I thought you left. No. I stayed around to make your proposition. What proposition? I'd like to make you a deal that'll involve you personally. Let's hear it. In your present occupation, the outlook is not too bright. Do you think you can handle this job? I have my doubts. That's why I thought you might be interested in a deal. It would be wise to use me and my gun. Use you and your gun? For what? For a deputy sheriff. I understand a deputy sheriff's salary is 50 a month. You want to stay here for $50? Mm, it's not the money. But I think I'll have some satisfaction. It's possible. What about my star? Yes, of course. I, I, I. You like when I suffer. Some people like to hurt others, but I'm not like you. You'll be all right now, General. The bullet didn't go in deep. Where is it? If you left it in my word of honor, I'll open up your back with a rawhide lash, I warn you. Don't worry about the bullet, General. I have it. It better be the same one. I want to return this to Larry Kitchener. He'll get it the same way I got it. But in this case, in the middle of his heart. Did you hear that, muchachos? Did everybody hear me? In the middle of his heart? What's the matter? Tell me. You're breaking my heart because I hate to see women crying. I'm not crying for Anastasio. But what's to become of me? A fine girl like you is too good for Anastasio. A traitor, a renegade, and a better cuckold. Why do you know he swore? He gave me his word of honor that he killed that dog, Kitchener. And I gave him one big pig for it. And before I can open my mouth, the cops comes to life and shoots me with his gun. What would you have done in my place if your friend had treated you like that? I showed your husband as a favor for you. You're kind to me, General. Still, he was the only husband I had. We'll take care of that. Reyes always takes care of his friend. Hey, Hernandez, come here. Here. You too, chica. Ah. Hernandez, aren't you sorry for this heartbroken widow? She's pretty, no? Yes, General. Well, what do you know? We have a bride and groom. But you promise. On your honor, to be nice to her and make her a good husband. Amen. It's time for your honeymoon. Good night. Go on. Be happy together. Fulgencio, serenade the happy couple. Maria, let's have something to drink to celebrate the wedding. <laughs> Me first, huh? General Reyes, you have visitors. Mm. We're full of surprises tonight. I thought I paid you what you asked to kill Larry Kishner. Don't speak to me in that tone, amigo. Sit down and drink some wine with us. Lupe, serve Senor Brogan. Instead of the gold, all I got was lead for my efforts. And that is something I won't forget. That you still owe what you promised. When you eliminate Larry Kishner, you must tell me how long I'm contracted for. Because I'm not sure I understand this business. I'm most curious to hear. You want Reyes to scare them away? So they will sell cheap. But why are you interested in more land than you can buy when that same land isn't worth a peso? That's entirely my business. I bet it is. Reyes is just a man from the mountains. But all the same, the wind whispers little words. 
Do you know what these little words are? Choo 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 wee, and they mean we'll meet a train. That's not all sure as yet. They sure are shooting, you mean? <laughs> what I mean is, a railroad will be built here, but not soon. <laughs> That's the way amigos should talk to me. Keep it clear and don't hide informations, especially from business associates, because we're partners in this business. You get 50%, at least 50 for me. <laughs> not unless you kill Kitchener. Partner, that's what I'm going to do. Francisco, Emiliano, Lopez, load your guns and saddle your horses. Caramba, this time we fix that sheriff once and for all. Go on now. And now let's drink to success, Brogan. Because this time Reyes won't miss his target. Well, Slade, I think I'll take a ride in the country. Shall I mind the store? No, don't bother. I reckon I'll go to bed. All right. Watch out! I suppose I owe you a debt of thanks because you saved my life. You saved my life, Slade. I don't like unsettled debts. Well, I offered a target that no one could miss that time. It's pretty dangerous to get taken for Larry Kitchener, wouldn't you say? Pleased to see you, Mr. Kitchener. Now we can breathe easy. We got us a real share. Thanks. Good day. Oh, good morning, Mr. Kitchener. I was just saying to my husband, I sleep sounder every night and never dream That's of bandits knowing that you were our sheriff. One of these evenings you must come to dinner. Reach for the sky. Huh? I got you, Mr. Kitchener. That shows I'm faster than you. Please, mister, don't shoot. You win. I bet you were afraid. <laughs> ah. Yeah, before you frighten the sheriff, you just better put on some more weight. <laughs> Even so, you're pretty fast. Would you like to be my deputy? I'd sure like to be your deputy, but I don't know if Mama would give me permission. Say, are you going to get the drop on Reyes? I hope I do, but I'll have to draw as fast as you. Tell me, where's your mother? She told me to wait for her here. But she'll be back soon to fetch me. I don't know where she went. Don't you want to wait here with me, Sheriff? Well, I'd like to, Bob, but I'm pretty busy some other day. See ya. This going to Kerrville? Right. Urgent. Please send photographs, Doc Magic Hand, signed Slade. One dollar. Thank you. Well, how is our hero feeling today? Ah, good morning, Mr. Mayor. I'd expected, of course, that those bandits would be keeping you busy, but I'd hoped you wouldn't be disturbed on your first night, at least. Ray sure is mighty impatient. Any news, Slade? Not yet, Sheriff. Oh. Hey, uh, Kitchener. Haven't you and I already met somewhere before this? Don't think so. But all the same, your face is familiar. For instance, you weren't in St. Louis last year, were you? No. Uh, I reckon not. But I'd have bet $50 that I knew you.
I sent three of my men into town to take care of Kitchener. And all were shot dead. Because he shot them, I shot you. Everyone but that chica. Take her away. I give her to you. Enjoy yourself, amigo. Reyes, <laughs> you're a cold-blooded murderer. You'll hang for this. I warn you, Reyes. Shut your mouth. You can't do that to us. Shut up, you. Silence. No. Don't worry, chica. You won't hurt. Come on. No. Not to get killed, do you? Let go of them. Dump all their bodies on Kitchener. This way he learned how Reyes he pays his debts. I guess Reyes wanted to get even for those men of his you shot last night. Those poor folks paid with their lives for something that was no fault of theirs. It's not safe anymore at your ranch. I thought the reason that you came was to protect us, not merely to advise us to leave our land deserted. I advise you to move into town all the same. Have you anything more to tell me, Sheriff Kitchener? Now, Norma, I want you to listen to me. <laughs> Enough of this gesta! Caramba, look at you! What else can you do? Kitchener is dead or no? If he is, it's no thanks to you. If he's not, why aren't you out gunning for him, eh? Why not? Answer my question! You're a bunch of sheep, that's why. Drinkers and guitar players. Well, I'm teaching every musician in this room how to shoot. Hold it, Reyes. Don't move or I'll shoot you. Who are you? Who am I? An amigo. If you are, then why are you armed? It's up to you. First, tell your men to drop their guns. Come on, do it, or I'll shoot you in the back. You hurt? Drop those guns. This hombre is my amigo. Make one move, and I'll shoot first. If I do, I won't miss him. Now they know we're amigos. You don't have to make any threats. Give me your word. It's all yours, amigo. Now we can talk. And you just do what I tell you to. <laughs> ah, and now I think we can talk. Step inside, gringo. Vamos. Take a seat. Loosen your tongue. What do you want? I want somebody to kill Kitchener. Oh, I'm shocked by what you say. Nope. You've already tried three times, haven't you? And I'll try again. If he's the last man, I'll shoot. I'd cut both of my hands off myself right now. How could you fire at him? I mean, after I shoot. But you could put Larry Kitchener out of the way tonight and not risk anything. I'd fill your pockets. I'd let you take half of the gold I own, if this is true. Your gold is nothing to me. Well, what do you want? I want his dead body. You want his dead body? Well, what do you want to do with that? That's none of your business. Ah, no me gusta. I don't like people with no respect for the dead. In that case... One minute. Sit down. I've not finished yet. If I say yes? In that case, I'll tell you a place where you can find him. I know what you're doing. This is only a trap. It's only a trap of Pudol Reyes. I tell you, Pudol Reyes doesn't like it. He doesn't like the smell of it. I could have shot you a minute ago. Yes, you could have. Hernandez! See, si, General. Bring me the Sentinel. I'll teach him to keep his eyes open. Amigo, I think I'll trust you. Tell me what we do. We go to the Widow O'Connor's. Kitchener's at the ranch for a couple hours alone. What's he doing out there all alone? Keeping company with Norma O'Connor. At last, hombre, you convinced me. I like that pretty little widow, too. <laughs> She's so bonita. And of course, for such a delicate job, I don't want much company either. Magnifico! Vamos! If everything goes like you say, you'll have Kitchener's body. But if anything goes wrong, you can bury your own. Understand? No. You first. Uh, I've been waiting too much time now, amigo. I must tell you, waiting is something I don't like. If this goes on, I must also tell you, I might get nervous.
Kitchener. You can drain off. <laughs> Go in. You alive, Reyes? Parro! Get his gun, Slade. Quick! Traitor! How many are there outside? I don't know. Three or four? Go on. Get to the window. Move! Stop shooting! Tell them not to shoot when we leave if they know what's good for you. Listen, muchachos! Stop shooting! Open up your ears and listen! Muchachos, when I walk out with these senores, don't shoot anybody. But you can follow us. <laughs> That's enough. Before long, you get what you have coming. By order of General Pablo Reyes. Stop here, Kitchener. I don't like the look of things. Tell your men to get out of here and be quick about it. I will try, amigo. It's not my fault if my boys are so fond of the general. Hey! Listen to me! Muchachos! Get me out of here! Now, muchachos! Now's the time to shoot! Pronto! Shoot! 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 Kill the gringos! Sheriff, nobody's danced in baldosas for two years. But now they can trip the light fantastic without a care in the world, thanks to you, Sheriff Kitchener. Now, you must tell me how you felt when you captured that bandit. Oh, I'm on pins and needles to hear. Well, I guess I felt the same, more or less. Oh, That's Sheriff, I never. Now, I'm not about to take no for an answer. You're coming to dinner. Now, don't forget, Sunday at my house. 
like a nice sarsaparilla, young man. Well, I hoped you'd be here. I wanted to thank you for the way you helped me. I had to come to the dance this evening to congratulate you for capturing Reyes. Thank you. Oh, now come, you're turning my head. I confess I did you an injustice. Forgive me? Pardon is granted, but only on the condition you give me the first dance. I danced, as you can see. Oh, Mrs. O'Connor, if you'd allow me, ma'am, I'd like to borrow our hero for me. Must you? Is that an order, Mr. Mayor? Sorry, Sheriff, it can't wait. Excuse me. Make yourself comfortable, Chef. You're sure this can't wait till morning? Uh, no, we'd better settle it now. When you hear what it is, you'll understand. Uh, I wanted to make you a proposition. An opportunity for both of us. But it'll require your cooperation. What do you mean? Explain. Well, now, in as few words as possible, before long a railroad is going to be built. And land values here will triple overnight. Do you follow me? Continue. For the last two years, I used a land agent. Reyes. <laughs> yes, Reyes. He demonstrated to the ranchers the advantage of selling at prices I could afford to pay if I chose to. Up until the time you arrived and put Reyes in jail, and naturally, I need you. Understand? Don't hesitate to ask me anything. Anything at all. Sorry, but I must ask you to come with me, Brogan. <laughs> Get down off your high horse with me, friend. We can take care of everyone, including you. Who do you think you're dealing with? You, Doc. Professional gambler and cheat. Uh... A drunkard and wanted for murder. And a former jailbird. That's ah, you, Doc. I was sure we knew each other. We shared a cell in Montana. Remember me? Oh, come on, get off it and stop trying to act like Larry Kitchener. You're only a drunken gambler. And what's more, a surgeon whose credit is as shaky as his hands. Simmer down. You're safe here. Don't worry. Every one of us has a secret in this town. You go right on acting like Larry Kitchener. The only difference is that after this, you're paid a lot more. Take a look at what's on this check. And that's only a down payment. The first thing you have to do is arrange the spring race. And in the future, of course, you're going to give him free reign and do nothing that would bother him. All put obstacles in his path. Remember, we're partners. You and I. Congratulations, Sheriff Kitchener. 
I set out for town the minute I heard the news Reyes was captured. Friends, what say we all drink to the health of our sheriff? I propose a toast to the man who brought law and order to Baldosas. Here's to Larry Kitchener. Thank you. But let's drink to the brave and honest citizens of this town. your drink. I brought your drink. Oh, I'm going to take it. You asked for one. Remember. <sighs> you mustn't leave before you've had it. Will I? Hold on, Sheriff. Let go of me. Let's go outside. Huh? <laughs> I'm sick of you dogging me like a shadow. Doing such a thing to Reyes, to General Reyes. Those dogs will pay when I get out. Caramba, they'll pay. Gringo dogs, come here! Where are you? What's the matter? What are you howling for? Because I'm tired of rotting in this filthy place, hombre. But you're going to let me out right now. Move you. Get me the key. I ain't got the key. It's on the wall. In case you don't know, it's over there by the door. And don't try any tricks. Hurry up. Faster. tell you something. No one puts Reyes in jail and goes on living. <laughs> you weren't expecting my visit, eh? <laughs> Reyes. <laughs> What's this? You glad to see me? <laughs> Filthy coyote! You mangy gringo dog! You thought I'd hang. You wanted me dead. No, Reyes, let me explain. Get up! Now we have a little chat face to face. You forget that Reyes doesn't like hombres who talk behind his back? Especially lying partners like you! No, Reyes, let me explain. I was trying to get you out. Yes, at the end of a row. Muchas gracias. But I don't need your help, partner. Now will you tell me the truth? I swear, Reyes, I tried to get you out, honest, but somebody tricked us, and that's dangerous. But you got to believe that, because there's plenty of land to be bought, and time is running out. The railroad will get started any day. Before it does, we must buy more land, or somebody will soon find out. We must stick together, or we hang. Boy. 
More than enough. Yep. He thought I was stupid enough to give him a loaded gun. Who'd have thought a man like you, our own mayor, would be in cahoots with Reyes? trust safes in the house. I think I'd better take that gold of Mayor Brogan's to the bank. Put it in here. I believe you're right, Mr. Stilgrave. Mr. Silgrave? No, thanks. <laughs> What's all the hurry about, muchacho? Mm. Mm. He's not very safe to travel alone, you know. And much less with what you're carrying. There are lots of bad hombres on the loose. Especially in this town. Oh. Something whispered in my ear that my goal wasn't too safe in this house. But even so, I think I ought to thank you for saving us the trouble of opening this safe. <laughs> you want that gold, huh? But aren't you ashamed of robbing Reyes? Of the fruits of so much honest effort? That was bad. That was very bad. And your dear uncle, you should light candles for his soul. He tried to do me out of my gold. And now, poor fellow, he has a bullet between his eyes. <laughs> By my laws, Pablo Reyes inherits all that gold. It's not yours. It's mine. All my gold. It's mine now. You're trembling in your pants. You have a guilty conscience? Yes, you have. But no one can say I'm not generous. After all is said and done, you are your uncle's nephew. I would like to make you happy with one share. All right, Paco? Sí, padrón. One bag. Thanks, Reyes. Believe me. I wasn't about to steal it. And to prove there's not a bit of hard feeling between us, I'm going to tell you a secret. Something you, you're going to find mighty useful. So useful you want to give me a reward. It ought to help you. Really? It's extremely important. A secret, you yes, say? Mm, very nice. You can take your filthy secrets to the grave, you lying gringo. But you won't take my gold. And where you're going, you couldn't spend it. But I'm not dead. And in my business, it comes in handy. And when I need loyal amigos, it's indispensable for that. And if it was you in my place, he wouldn't have broken away. Sherry finally decided to visit the widow and walk straight into the lion's den instead. <laughs> All the better for us, Senor Kitchener. We met that deputy of yours. Now I want you to know mine. That's Ufemio, one most excellent musician. We play something. Music is just what we need. That one is Callisto. He keeps the gun shine. Take his pistol. And that is Enrique. Honorato. Eh? 
Can't you say hello? <laughs> Enrico doesn't like anyone without manners. <laughs> ah, but the senora, you'll say how do you do to her, no? <laughs> After all, that's what you're here for. <laughs> <laughs> For the fiesta, pick him up. What's the matter? Don't you like the music, Senora? It's beautiful music, I think. <laughs> as beautiful as you are. <laughs> ah, continue, muchachos. Have him dance. Ah. Oh. Faster! Watch out for the knife! Stop it! Stop it! You'll kill him! And now! Smile at the senora, show your pretty teeth. <laughs> 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 Smile at the senora and knock your teeth out! No! Stop it! <laughs> oh, don't go to sleep, Kitchener! Why? <laughs> Isn't she the one you used to set the trap with Slade? Hmm? Ah, you thought it was a bright idea. Well, you might say, I copied your idea. You walked into the same trap, huh? <laughs> oh, want some water, Sheriff? I'll serve you pronto. Refreshing it is. Oh, you animal! You are very lucky. No one can say my heart is not soft when a senora cries. I feel overcome. So much so, it's ruined my fiesta for me. String him up, muchachos. Patient, Sherry. Francisco, we need more dynamite than that. Don't be so stingy. You want to finish with a bang, don't you? All right. For us Mexicanos, it'll be a fiesta of liberation. I'll celebrate this day for the rest of my life. It must be fun to be what you gringos call a powder monkey. I love firecrackers, especially when they lift the spirits of my amigos. <laughs> Well, Kitchener, this is the last time I see your face before hell swallows it. <coughs> Adios, vámonos. Haven't you tortured us enough? Are you impatient, my Paloma? Don't you want to enjoy the spectacle? Uh, no. Over tight, but gently. Treat her with respect, don't forget. Wait, I want to do this little job myself. Get down. No! Well, that takes care of that. And now, my bonita, 
The grand finale is about to begin. The end of Larry Kitchener. Shall we take our places? Ready. Patience, Senora. For all I suffered, Larry Kitchener, and I fixed you this time, hombre. No one can say Pablo Reyes didn't fire a salute in your honor. All right, boys, leave me by myself a while. And let me look after the senora since she needs to be consoled a little. Let me <laughs> go. You wouldn't dare. Don't stick your nose in the air at Reyes, senora. Uh. <laughs> no. Oh, and where do you think you're going, eh? Come on, this is no way to treat a guest. Don't forget that I'm a visitor. Come on, Paloma, do the honors of the house. This house is famous for its hospitality, no? <laughs> no! Oh, no, eh? no I like a woman no! on fire. Help! These are the best in rails. Come on, come on, my little spitfire. No! <laughs> come on, Help! come inside. Inside. <laughs> something to wet our throats. I have some tequila. Where? In my saddlebag. I get it. I can't find it. Look in the bag. Ah. <laughs> I have it. Is this the way to show your hospitality? Ah! <laughs> Give me that bottle. You want it all? Here. Gracias.
Come out of there, you traitors! Where are you hiding, you cowards? Show me your faces! me again! Dirty Gringo! I see you can doctor yourself pretty well. Cuts were healing too slowly to suit me. But then I remembered what a friend of mine used to do. I don't know where the sawbones in this town got his diploma. But he's no medical genius. Well, I'm going out. Where are you going? To have a look around. In Baldosas? I'm going out of town. I'd like to find out what Reyes is up to these days. Muchachos, come here. Si, sí, General. Fulgencio, I need 50 good hombres tomorrow. What do our hombres get in exchange, General? Who was this? You mean you don't trust me? Gold, plenty of gold. Enough to keep you in Pinza de Guia for as long as you live. Here's an advance. Agreed, General. Tomorrow morning at headquarters. And don't be late. Vamos! Good morning, Sheriff. Ma'am. Hello, Sheriff. Mom? Hey, I hear tell that you killed four bandits, single-handed. Did you really? Oh, I don't know. I didn't count them. <laughs> now you do your chores, Bob. Run along. I'll have to go, but you'll tell me later? Yes, don't you worry. Now, don't forget. So long. So long. You look a lot better now. Yeah, thanks to you, Norma. If it hadn't been for you, Norma, I never would have made it, that's for sure. I'd like to, I'd like... Well, tell me, what would you like? I'd like to, to confess something that's hard to explain. I want you... Come on, I... what is it? But you see, Norma, I'm not the man you think I am. You see... Sheriff!
We'd better clear the streets and be prepared for Reyes. He's heading for Baldoza's with more than 50 gunmen. What's he up to? You ought to be able to guess, Judge. All right. We have no time to waste. If all of you will stick with me, we'll finally get rid of Reyes. I see. If anyone wants to go, he's not obliged to stay. Appears you haven't got many allies, Sheriff. You can't face Reyes alone. You'd be crazy to stay here. He has 50 gunmen with him. You'll have to get away. Larry, they won't protect you. After all, they're in their rights. They pay me to protect them, not to protect me. I'm with you, Sheriff. to thank me. My vocation in life is killing outlaws. I want that sheriff! Vamos! Francisco, over there! But they shoot like a whole army. Oh, don't be afraid of them, my friend. Put a match of those bells of straw. They'll run like cucarachas. Like barn cucarachas. I swear to you. <laughs> Get upstairs, I'll go out the back. Hurry! Watch out! 
shot, Sheriff! Tell me this flock of sheep, Fulhensio. I think your gold costs too much, General Reyes. You had better keep it in your own pocket. You don't want my gold, eh? All right, I give you that. should be operated on immediately. Operate then, Doctor. We couldn't get a surgeon here in time, Judge. I'm just a general practitioner. I can take care of flesh wounds by myself, but I can't extract a bullet that close to the heart. That requires a skilled surgeon. Oil dye. With your permission, I can do it, Doctor. You must be crazy, Sheriff. I can operate. I just told you it would require a skilled surgeon. I am a surgeon, Doctor. Remember, Bob, after this, stay out of the crossfire. 
He's going to be all right, Norma. Everything's going to be all right for you now. Thanks to you. on the house. I need more than that salary. I'm afraid you better tell everyone here you need a new deputy sheriff. Goodbye, Slade. Adios, Larry Kitchener.